Hey everyone, I'm Maria here. And when uh, Lavinia asked me if I could talk about something for five minutes, I was like, five minutes? <laughs> I could talk about community, but I talk about community every day, all day. So I said, I'm going to challenge myself and play at the edges of my comfort zone. I'm going to talk about something I know nothing about. <laughs> and see how that goes. And it's already going very well because my slides don't follow the pyramid thingy. <laughs> so I have to come up with a quick call to action or something by the end. I also remember Rita's uh, headlines and yeah, we should be leader. I bought it all. <laughs> I bought it, I believe it, I'm I'm full in, all in. And I gotta be honest, I wanna take my job. <laughs> that's yeah. the conclusion. All the headlines and all the hype, I'm fully in. And truth being said, I don't know much about AI, so that's why I think it's great to talk about it. <laughs> I'm in front of a group of friends and YouTube. Um, so then I said that some about AI, the things that I do know about AI is that it's better at something, much, much better than, at, than myself at some tests. And I'm very lucky because those are exactly the tests that I don't like to do. So here's are three things that I would outsource to AI in the future. I would like to ask AI to please somehow magically collect the data, clean the data. I want it to identify the trends, the performance gaps, and what was it? The data talks to you and I can talk to the data. I want that. I want to talk to the data. We haven't figured out how to do that. We don't know. There's messy data flying all over the place. We don't even use data because we don't know how to work with it. AI, yes, data, please take it away. Tell me what to do with it. Second, LMS. If it's not disappearing, it should get a full makeover, like total makeover. I want AI to take curate, create content. I want it to be easier. I want it to be faster. If we have to create some content, I want all the tiny robots to help me with that. <laughs> I want to, them to be doing their magic, working their magic in the background to create these personalized learning paths and adjust content, feed them in the moment of need based on what people are replying into those courses. So I would say like, Shh, I, I can't do that, take it away. <laughs> okay, third thing, I want bots, you know, all the little spots, to instantly come up with answers to the most pressing issues. Learning in the flow of work, performance consulting, uh, five moments of need. Yes, bots all the way. Take over onboarding, step-by-step -step things, checklist, performance support. I like. Go on, go on with it. Faster content for you. Personalization of learning, yours. Small trends in yours. Take it away. Anyone else would like to outsource these things to? Do, do we really like any, anyone would like to keep them and be like, no, I, I, I try with data, don't take my Excel away. Um, okay, so then you're saying, okay, so what will we do? I don't know what you will do, but here's what I hope I will do in a couple of years' time. Woo! I would love if instead of learning strategy, we would have a well being and a whole humanness strategy. You know that bring your whole self to work? I want to see that. I, I, I hope that we will clean enough time in our agenda to actually think about that and actually do something about that. Courtesy of ChatGPT and Dali, I brought here some examples. I would love to see our offices transform in oasis for well-being. I don't want a yoga on a Thursday uh, somewhere and then uh, no time off if I'm feeling unwell, I can't take a day off. I really want the office transform and I want policies that would look at well-being and would look at as me as a human to support that. What about a room when there are no screens, no paper, there's no mobile, we sit on these bimba chairs and we make sense of what we feel. Scary? Yes. <laughs> There's so many things happening in the world. How do we make sense of that? There's wars going on. We feel things. Anyone asks you at work what do you feel about that? 
and anyone ask you whether your performance was impacted by that or not? No, it's a course for you that you get in the LMS. Thank you, <laughs> that was very um, Super fast, what if training rooms were immersive learning labs in the future? where we actually get to touch things and we get to play and we get to do simulations. And we would have a future slab where we think about the future and come up with questions that we don't have answers to and just seep in that complexity and uncomfortableness together. What if the office become this visual interactive conversation ground where you get to speak things and talk to your and say, why did you put that here? And what do you think about that? And kind of have the office transformed in a playground. And you might say, yes. Anna Maria, are we all becoming office designers or workspace designers? I wouldn't mind, I wouldn't mind that, I wouldn't mind that. Um, but I just wanna leave you with, with one thing. If you look at your time, your agenda, the way you spend your time now, and try to put content aside, can we do that for a second? Just like, I know it seems impossible at times. Content, training, slides, this kind of thing, gone. Doesn't exist in the future. I'm hoping that we can free learning up. We let it run freely within the corporations. It's distributed. Uh, we create networks and communities, and I want to bring your attention on this little word here. Very important, community. Okay. Um, we lead through curiosity, openness, hosting and facilitation, not through control and executing procedures and going by the book. We can have AI guide us through that and tell us what to do at all times. Create adaptive, creative, self-organizing spaces where people can be creative, seek and find meaning as humans. And I would love to focus on diversity and well-being and look at work, not L work, but at work, <laughs> and learn and learning through a regenerative lens. So instead of a call to action, I want to leave you with a reflection. What if, how, how would our world, our work, our days change tomorrow if instead of calling ourselves learning and development, we would call ourselves human experience designers. Thank you very much. I take the question.